Tara is with us in Cadillac, Michigan. Hi, Tara. How are you? Hey, Dave. I'm good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? We are longtime Dave Evangelist, first of all. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. Second of all, I am a vice president, treasurer, secretary, doing all the behind the scenes stuff um, because I'm also a middle school teacher of a small rural medical practice that my husband and I own and operate. Our top line last year was six hundred ninety-seven thousand. So far this year, at six hundred seventy-seven thousand. Mm-hmm. We we have seven to eight um, very committed, super hardworking em- employees. Mm-hmm. And my question is, how do we bonus our team members in a way that they equate that into their overall pay package, but still incentivize hard work? Hmm. Okay. Um. Well, there's a couple of things we can talk about there. One is in a, in a group of people where you've got 10 people or less like this, um, sometimes money spent on experiences and food is better than the actual cash. Okay. So, um, like, we have done things over the years. You can go to the local movie theater and rent the entire theater out for 500 bucks, private viewing. Mm-hmm. And and especially if you got a young crew and they got a bunch of kids, have a, you know, we we played, we took our Ramsey Event Center the other day and had movie night with Madagascar, and had the, um, you know, had the kids kids thing up there and there was like three thousand people there, like counting little kids running everywhere. You know, we filled up the thing. Well, there's a thousand of us, but spouses and little kids. You know, it, it we just right. had movie night and it's um, it doesn't cost a lot and yet it shows a lot of intentionality. Just random pizza on Thursday afternoon, you know, uh, or Thursday for lunch, don't buy anything. So, uh, you know, that kind of thing, a little stuff like that, uh, bowling night, take everybody, I don't care, whatever it is. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, so, so you can spend a little bit of money. It doesn't cost a lot and shows a lot of appreciation and intentionality. I would, number one, I would start doing a lot of that kind of stuff. I'd make a list of 10 of those things you can try, and uh, try to do one a month for the next uh, 12 months and see what happens. You know, okay. uh, just a little thing. Again, pizza. Uh, I know a guy on a construction site Friday afternoon, he brought a keg of beer over, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, whatever. I don't care what you do, but just something that um, that's consistent with who you are and who they are and fits the demographic and the age group and that kind of stuff. Um, now, then to the other part, uh, and this works for companies regardless of size, uh, we use it, this concept, these concepts today, and we used them back then too. Um, I've tried a lot of profit sharing type ideas. Um, I'll tell you one that didn't work. It was an okay. abject failure. Uh, we were giving, we were allocating a percentage of our net profits each month, but there wasn't a lot of money because in your case, there's not a ton of money there. It's not like there's a hundred thousand dollars you're going to share out of this. Okay. So uh, we're allocating uh, a percentage of our net profits because, like you, we believe in sharing and honoring the hard work of the team. And uh, But it was so little that if we gave it to them monthly, it would be like buy you a cup of coffee or something. You know, it was like a joke. So we did it. to let, We let it build up and did quarterly profit okay. sharing. And then I had this horrible experience. Quarterly profit sharing got up to – uh, the biggest year it was before I shut it down was three hundred thousand dollars one year, okay, which is a lot of money for me. I'm from Antioch, Tennessee, right? And <laughs> yeah. and so that's a lot. And it would be it would be impossible out of six hundred eighty seven or six hundred seventy six or whatever, right? But uh, right. but I mean it was a lot of money. And we had a lady quit who was making. We were paying her her salary was market, and um. She had been with us a while, and her portion of the profit sharing was like $5,000 that year. And she quit, and when her boss, who was upset that she was leaving, her, her lead, said, why are you leaving? She said, well, I got a, a raise. And he said, well, what are you making? And I forget what it was. I'm, I'll make it up right now. But say she was making 42 here, and she said, well, I got a raise to 43. And he said, you made 48 here last year. Right, and we've had that same thing like last year. Yeah. It and was she said, and Here, here's what, here's what she said. It. This is when I canceled the whole dead gum thing. She said, <laughs> okay. I, it's, it's comes once a quarter 
and I can't it I don't know if it's going to come or not so I don't count that and I went I gave you people four hundred thousand dollars and you don't count that <laughs> oh my god I about had a cow right there in the middle of the floor not in her face, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, it was a, right. it was a sudden realization that my profit sharing was worthless. Mm -hmm. uh, was, they did not count it, so I stopped it immediately. I said, "We're not doing it anymore." And then we the, we reworked it. Well, now we do it monthly. But one, so a couple of things is um, number one, I pay we pay market rate or above as your standard base income. Yep. Profit sharing is extra. It is, it, you know, it's not counted in your income. You're not going to count it. It's it's uh, gravy on the biscuit. It's me being generous. I own the business. I could take it all home, but I want to share with the people that work here. It's just pure generosity. It is not compensation. And so I look at it that way. They look at it that way. The second thing is we start doing it monthly uh, when we kicked it back in. And every single month we get up and describe to the whole team which areas made money, which areas lost money, which areas set a record, yay, which areas are struggling, boo. Uh, here's an example of someone that did something that cut expenses, and then we say profit share, profits overall are up, and so your, che your check this month is going to be a little bit more than it was last month with the profit sharing in it. Yay. And everybody say it together. Here's how profits work. Profits happen when revenues go and everybody says up and when expenses go and everybody says down and remember you're all self-employed. We say that every month for the past 15 years, we had missed a month and everybody knows that's where profits come from. So they know that if they're doing something to help expenses go down or revenues go up, they're adding to profits and they get to share in that. And okay. it's very much in your face. That that's how that's where. So if you guys screw around and you let expenses get out of control, guess what? Profits go down, and so does your check. You know, and so on that kind of thing. So that's what we do. Number one, you got to set it up to where they count it. Number two, you set it up. Uh, you remind them all the time, and then number three, make sure you're paying a base wage that is good anyway, and regardless of what you're doing here, um, so that this is not. I, for a while, we tried to make profit sharing. The thing that, uh, and we were very generous with profit sharing, but we tried to make it part of your comp plan to get you to market. And we paid you a little bit above market, including profit sharing. Now we pay you a little bit above market plus profit sharing. And that's changed the uh, whole attitude around the thing and uh, making it part of being at market with the comp. No, I, I wouldn't do that. I think that's a mistake. It was a mistake we made. I would recommend not doing it. It screwed us up, but there you go.